I think it's a it's a it's a great thing that Colin did, uh, and you know I respect everything he's done in, in that in that sense. Uh, for for me as a professional, I, I think using my voice and, and using my platform to to get out there, and me having two younger black kids, and you know making sure that you know people are aware of that. You know me growing up, you know definitely getting pulled over was a scary thing, and and it definitely was like a nervous thing. But you know I think now we have to use our voices. No, I think I, I definitely will take an approach to it, you know, because I had a close friend of mine, you know, a couple of weeks ago that, that was that was murdered by the by the police, shot 17 times, you know. Um, it was something I haven't spoke out about, you know. It was more so of, you know, just understanding what's going on in a society and how much I can help, you know, and that's what it's all about. So most definitely I think we will and I will for sure. I came through segregation. I know what it looks like. I know what people are upset about. I understand it. Uh, the league has done an excellent job of working with the Players Association. Uh, and again, I think it's our job as leaders here uh, is to have conversation about it. Uh, it's a slippery slope to, to say to what to say, not to say. Uh, you can't do that. It's not something you can dictate. Uh, that's what the U.S. was built on, is, is the ability to protest and have a voice. And um, I think it's important for us to, to be there as a resource. And all I tell our guys is to be informed. Be informed, do it from the heart. Don't do it from the, just the sake of doing something or saying something. Um, you know, the young man from uh, San Francisco has put his money where his mouth is. And, uh, but it's, it's something that I, is going to be an ongoing conversation, and that's what it should be about is, is, is bringing awareness to the situation and what's going on.